everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to use Hatch embroidery software for beginners and this is only on Windows, you cannot use this on Mac so if you're looking for Mac I would not watch this video, okay? Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching! So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your Windows laptop and log in so the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you've downloaded the software called Hatch. So once it's downloaded, it should look like this. So after it's downloaded, you'll need to double click on it and it will take you to a screen that looks like this. The next thing you're going to do is go to the internet and go to Google and basically just search any image that you're interested in. It can literally be anything you want. Um, for example's purposes, I'm just going to grab a random image off of Google. And once I found the right image that I want to digitize, I will drag the image onto the screen, onto my desktop. So once it's dragged onto the desktop, I will then drag it into the Hatch software, like that. So now you're going to need to make the image smaller to fit the size of the hoop that you'll be using. Today I'm using a 4x4 hoop and as you can see I'm pressing minus 10 so it will fit to the size of the hoop. You just keep doing that until it goes to the inside of the red square. You might need to crop your image as well which you can see there so you'll just crop it to take out any of the colour that you don't want but right now it's correct and it's inside of the hoop like that the next thing you're going to want to do is on the left hand side you're going to want to click on auto digitize and then click to fill once you've pressed that you click on the image it will take a while to load and then reduce colours to two and then press OK. So once you've reduced the colours to two, you basically just click on the parts of the image that you want embroidered. So I then want to change the type of stitch. I then press Control A, and I want to change it to satin instead of tatami because satin stitch actually has less stitches than tatami, um, which is better for me because it reduces the amount of time the design will take to embroider and I think satin looks nicer but if you want to change it again I'm just showing you as an example press Control a and you can have it on any of these types of stitches that you want on the right hand side I've never used any of the others other than the top two but this is only a beginner's tutorial so I won't going into too much detail but you can press Control a again and press edit objects and press adjust stitch spacing and say reduce it to 75 it will reduce the stitch count even more if you think that your um, design is too heavily dense on stitches so once you've done that and you th and your design is all fully digitized you press not that you press output design and then select export design i usually have a usb stick which is on the side but you click into the area you want it saved and you name the file and save as type so i have a brother um, machine which is a pest design but all the types of um, file types you can save it under that 